Playing with a ghost, Alfred? You might say that. I'm finishing my last game with Bruce. I couldn't save our board from the manor, but I do have our notes. We tracked each move. To continue the game, if one of us was ever... away. Are you winning? Playing as Bruce, I can't see how he loses. Bruce is dead. Maybe he wins your game, but without him, we've lost. I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure he's dead? Not so sure we've lost. Bruce played an important role. But he never saw himself as the only piece in play. Hand me that cooling. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, Lazarus isn't gonna bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. Belfry, I've reached the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. Balcony? You booked the fancy suite. It was the closest one to the ballroom. I thought you'd appreciate the proximity. You know I do.
Belfry, I'm inside the orchard. Don't get distracted. Find a good spot to eavesdrop on the ballroom. And security can't know you're there, so keep a low profile. That must be the ballroom. No way am I waiting in line. Stop, Abby. I don't want to hear you, Frank. Does my grandmother have the heart of what? No, I don't care what happened to you. You promised me a heart. I have to attend this banquet, but when I'm done, you and I are gonna have a chat. are coming tonight. Hate to be stupid not to. Why is this hotel always under renovations? I paid for five-star service, not to smell plaster all day. We're making some improvements, ma'am. I'll let the hotel manager know about your feedback. Must be the entrance. Why else would they put this here? Again with your stupid theory? You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. I'd better not interrupt them. <laughs> <laughs> We'll impress the voice tonight. I'm sure of it. Belfry, the security systems should be down now. Nice. Don't forget, those guards are court members, so punch away. There's my way in. Belfry, I'm about to enter the ballroom. Nice work. Let's see what Gotham's elite have to say. Great to be here. And what is all this would give the rest of us such a kick in the pants? Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Ah, uh, of course. We'll have to continue this later. There's one. Pillars of Gotham! May I please have your attention? It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Host? In an owl mask? Ten dollars says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. 
We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Holy voice of the court. We have a match. Good. Stay on him. We need to find out who he is. The labs are requesting more Dionysium to meet their production deadline. I'm aware. Arrangements are being made. Let them know that I expect the quota to be met. No excuses. Thank you, sir. the arrangements made if it pleases the court excellent i see you downstairs
the voice got in an elevator, and now I can't track him. Weird. Somehow he went missing when he was between the floors. Robin, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Not a good idea. We don't even know where that elevator goes. Maybe this haunted stairwell leads to Lucky 13. Belfry, I'm on the 13th floor and found a court door. This has to be it. Understood. Tread carefully. Floor. What are they hiding here? A court of owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. This is a literal truth as we build our perfect nests below the skins of our perfect city. The old voice of the court on vinyl. They must have custom pressed it. Now, if I was the voice of the court, where would I be? Belfry, any idea where I should start looking? Belfry? Oh, of course, there's no comms. That would be too easy. They say an owl can turn its head all the way around to better see what is behind it what might be trying to sneak up and strike. While we walk the halls of power with our heads held high, our true purpose hides inside the walls around us. Our court whispering into each other's ears like Cyrano on a date with destiny. This is interesting. That meeting's over. I wonder what they were looking at.
inoculation was compromised. Found to be moonlighting for cockroaches. We eliminated him. Our allies... So the corp killed Langstrom for working for someone else. If this recording isn't enough for a conviction, I don't know what is. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so Langstrom never existed. We must send a message. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. So many names. High profile murders, missing persons. Langstrom's on here. Is this a list of court targets? certainly cannot be underestimated. It is a predator after all. And so are we. A history of Gotham architecture. Did the court have a hand in all these buildings? Courthouse. GCPD Central Station. Gotham Cathedral. City Hall. Numbers on the wall are the years each place was built or renovated by court connected firms. Maybe this is something to do with the dates on the wall.
Definitely on the right track. By controlling these buildings, the court also controls the different power structures in Gotham. No wonder they're so powerful. Of course. I should have known it was you. for progress, a paean to the might of men and money, a utopia, and we alone made it. Unlucky enough to be snatched up for our pleasure. May they know without truly knowing this simple truth. It's high time we talk. We are in control. I thought you wanted to talk. Go to the painting. Destroy Gotham. Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you. Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just... Our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's... Madness, you're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kurt Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for the city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Security breach. We're under attack in the ballroom. They came out of nowhere.
Clearly, I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. I should get back to the ballroom. Killing everyone. This is awful. Time to fight. You bet you. Come <laughs> on. 
about to enter the hotel, I'd suggest a quick exit. Montoya? It's Robin. I take it you heard what happened at the hotel. I was inside. I saw everything. Yeah? Then care to tell me who the hell those assassins were? The League of Shadows. They're a secret organization that... Actually, I'll just send you our files. You'll see. slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. <sighs> the almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. I pinned new information on the board. Catherine Kane isn't doing this city any favors. Things are bad enough between the court and the League without the cops stirring them up. Our nights are about to get a lot more complicated. This is it. 
Alfred's playing right into Robin's trap. Mate in two. Wait, how, how'd you... An old way. It's how Alfred wins. Teach me. Robin must discover his own way to win. Robin thinks that sounds way harder. 